Now you'll notice here at the top we have now a results toolbar. The first option in the results toolbar is the displacement scaling. So by default ANSYS will automatically use a scale factor which multiplies the actual displacements of the deformation. Now the scale factor can be changed using several built-in values such as half times the auto scale, two times the auto scale, zero which will be the undeformed model and one which is the true scale. So let's go and check out the true scale by clicking on one right here and then now you can see it changed to the true scale. Now if we zoom in we can see that it's very hard to tell where the deformation is happening in the model. So that's why ANSYS recommends using the auto scale which exaggerates this deformation. Now right next to it we have something called the display method. So by default it shows the exterior which is the most commonly used display method. And now we have a few other ones called isosurfaces and capped isosurfaces. So let's try capped isosurfaces by clicking on it right here. So in this case we can see right now that the selected method is the top capped isosurfaces. So this means that it will show all the elements between 0 and the value that's entered here which is 149. So right now we're seeing all the elements from 0 to 149 megapascals. Now if I'll drag the slider down, you'll see that it'll start eating away at the model because it'll start removing the elements that are above 5 megapascals. So now it's only displaying elements from 0 to 5 megapascals. Now if we click on this button over here, which is bottom capped isosurfaces, this will only show values that are greater than 5 megapascals. So these are the elements that are larger than 5 megapascals and if we increase the slider here, now we're only displaying elements that are above 30 megapascals. And if you just want an isosurface, you can click on this one right here and this will display an isosurface at that value. So once again, you can either drag the slider or you can enter the value manually right here. So let's bring this back to exterior by clicking on this right here. And next we have the contours icon where you can change how the contours are displayed. So by default the contour bands are shown. So this groups ranges of elements and gives them a color. So as you can see here, the color red is from 149 to 167 megapascals. You can change the contour bands to smooth contour bands. So now you can see here it's a bit more smoothed out. And you also have ISO lines. And finally you have solid fill which won't display any type of contour bands. So let's bring this back to contour bands. Next up you have the edges icon which controls the display of the undeformed geometry or the mesh. So here we have by default the show elements. So this is showing all the elements. If you want you can go to show undeformed model. You can see here in transparency that the undeformed model is shown. If it's not so clear you can show undeformed wireframe. So now you can see that it's showing the undeformed model in wireframe mode. And finally you can click on no wireframe which essentially removes all the lines and just shows the deformed shape. Now next to that you have something which is grayed out which is the vector plots which is only applicable for deformation results which we'll do in a minute. Next to it we have the max and min toggles so if you click on this it'll show you where the maximum is and where the minimum values of the stress are. And right next to that we have something called probe so let's say you want to probe an exact point on the geometry you can use the probe button and you can probe exactly, let's say, this region right here. Let's turn on show elements. And let's say I want to know what the value of this is right here. You can click and it will add a probe marker for you. So the value of that is 27 megapascals. Now if you want to remove this tag, you can click on this button over here, which is the labels. And then click on this label and then hit the delete key to remove it. So now I want to show you the vector plot. So let's go and add another solution by clicking on solution here right clicking insert and now we're going to choose deformation and we're going to choose total deformation once that's done the geometries will be all the bodies so let's go right click on total deformation and evaluate the results and there you have it there's the deformation so now let's just zoom out a little bit and now that we have our min max on we can see that the maximum deformation is up here at the top which is 0.01 millimeters and the zero is near the fixed base somewhere, which is obvious. Now that we have the deformation plotted, we can see here that the vector plots are now available to us. So let's click on that right now. So here we can change the, the vector display. So we can choose it from proportional vectors or uniform vectors. And we have a slider to either enlarge or minimize the length of each vector. We also have toggles for aligned elements or grid aligned elements. So the elements aligned will align each vector with each element. And this one will align it in a grid form. Here you can also change the amount of elements in the grid. 
And finally here we have either a line form or we can have solid vectors. So if we click on this and zoom in, you can see now that the shape of the vectors have changed. So let's uncheck this right now. So that pretty much covers the results toolbar. Now let's say you want to add multiple views, you can click on this icon here and you can choose the number of viewports. So let's say if you want to have four viewports, you can click on four viewports and you can choose to compare different results in each viewport. So let's say I click on this one over here, I can change this to equivalent stress by clicking on equivalent stress right here. And now in this one here I have total deformation. And you can do the same thing for the other two viewports if you have let's say four different solution results. So let's go back here and put it back to one viewport. 